The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Welcome back to Squall Spring Divers. I'm your host, Captain Dennis. And today we're going to be diving close to shore at St. Mary's by the Sea in the Black Rock area of Bridgeport, Connecticut. The water's warmed up a little bit to 45 degrees. Unfortunately, we had some rain earlier this morning and they're dredging the South Benson Channel because Hurricane Sandy filled it with sand. So uh, it's not going to be the best visibility today. I'm going to go down to about 13 feet today, and uh, we're in pretty close to St. Mary's. There's a lot of rocks down here. This isn't really a good spot for boats to be, but we've got an incoming tide and kind of have an idea where I am. So You can see it's somewhat clear, but there's a lot of particulate in the water. Um, this is runoff. This is you know, the loose sand that they've been dredging. And there's also things that are waking up as the water gets warm. You can see these guys are hanging out doing their thing. Last week the water was about 35 to 39 degrees. And it's really amazing what 10 degrees and temperature increase will do to the marine life. Um, you can see right here there's a big cloud of particulate. I'm not sure if it's plankton or algae, but it's, it's, it's moving. Certain spots, I come across this really big mass of yellow sponge. And on the back side, you can see that there are sea urchins. That's right. Um, don't know if they're edible. I'm going to leave them and let them do their thing, hanging out there at the seaweed. And we're going to keep on moving. Here's some more of that yellow sponge. There's a whole bunch of it around here. And... Uh, I'm no marine biologist, so I, I don't really know the name. So maybe if somebody knows the name, they could write it in the comments below or go on our Facebook page and say, hey, it's, it's Long Island Sound Yellow Monkey Sponge. I don't know. And we got some more sea urchins here on your right with a couple of starfish just chilling, hanging out. Wait for the water to warm up, I guess. Being a Black Rock resident, I've uh, walked around St. Mary's for years, and uh, most people think that the sound looks like what low tide looks like. And this is an area of the sound that, you know, it's not exposed to six hours of air. So it's constantly, you know, alive and vibrant down here and this is an area that people just don't get the chance to see so hopefully this video will make you think a little differently about the sound speaking of longtime residents here we have a horseshoe crab who's been around for 450 million years that's right this little bugger is walking around and he is closely related to uh, arachnids scorpions and ticks and spiders and if I flipped them over, you would really believe that because this thing is creepy looking and nasty looking underneath. So um, we're not going to do that. We don't really like to molest the wildlife here on Squall's Marine Divers. So you just take my word for it unless you want to Google it. He's got that big long tail. It's not for stinging. It's for flipping himself over if he gets turtled. So uh, it looks nasty, but it's just kind of like it's like it's cane.
Here's a big old rock covered in that yellow sponge. Let's see, it's this is a big rock. There's a lot of big rocks in this area. There's one rock that's called Old Henry, something like that. It used to be buoyed, and this thing is like huge. And oh, look, a little spider crab is hanging out here on the sponge, doing his thing. And uh, that rock was big, and it's it's on charts from like the 1700s. So uh, it's, it's some some people found it way back then, if you know what I mean. Here's our good friend, Mr. Spider Crab. He must have just woke up. Normally, they're throwing them arms up at me, trying to push me away, but I think he's just a little groggy from waking up. They bury themselves in the sand. At least that's what I've seen. And uh, they just hang out, and I think, until that water gets warm enough for them to come out and start eating. You can't eat these guys. These guys are they're everywhere. Well, it's about time to say goodbye to Mr. Spider Crab and finish our dive. We're going to make our way back to the surface and get out of this cold water. And we invite you to come back and visit us, subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook. We're going to be filming a lot more this spring, and we look forward to seeing you. So uh, I'd like to say thank you from Squalish Marine Divers. And until then, I'm Captain Dennis. <laughs>